All right, I'm going to be going through this problem. It's called playing with digits. Some numbers have funny properties. For example, 89 is equal to 8 to the power of 1 plus 9 to the power of 2 equals 89 times 1. 695 is equal to 6 to the power of 2 plus 9 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 4. And that equals 1390. Um, which equals 695 times 2. Um, I'm not going to go through this one, but given a positive integer n written as a, b, c, d, and a positive integer p, we want to find a, find a positive integer k if it exists, such as the number, such as the sum of the digits of n taken to the successful, taken to the successive powers of p is equal to k times n. Okay, um, already a little confused. Um, is equal to, so there's three variables, P, K, and N. And they give us N and P. Um, in other words, is there an integer K that equals N times K? Um, so we want to find K. Um, so 695 equals 1390. And then we want to take the original number and multiply it by two. For this one, Okay, I think I understand it now. Um, so starting at this cube, we do I don't know that I actually understand this, but um, I'm going to start with this example. Um, so these are my variables, and I believe so it's n and they they equal n and p. And then oh, p. And then I want to just take a look, copy this over too because I don't necessarily understand this. So return should return 51 because three, four, five, six, seven. And they give us this formula. I'm not keep you copy this down as well. <coughs> hmm. Paste. So is there an integer k such that a so this would be four to the power of three plus six to the power of four plus, and that equals N, which is our original number times K. So I think I get it. So for first thing I wanna do is I wanna iterate through my number, iterate through number. Um, in this case, number is N. So I guess I should say iterate through N so four, um, none, and if I just do n, this isn't going to work because it's an integer right now, or <laughs> it's a, um, yeah, it's an integer, so I want to do a string, and, and then I can always convert this back to an integer, so if I do this, um, may not look like it, but just to verify, this should be an integer. So it is an integer. Um, and then iterate through number, iterate through n. Then I want to add, oops, add n 
to the power of p to a counter. I'm just going to call this my sum. I want to um, add this, so instead of printing it, this will equal my sum plus equals n to the uh, p power. And then I want to add p, add 1 to p. Let's see if it's there. And then hopefully if I did this right, this should equal p, or my sum should equal this. And it does. So that is a good sign. So now I want to see if um, this right here is divisible by this. This is the part I was confused about. So I want to see if it is divisible, or to see if it's divisible, I want to do percent. And it equals zero. So um, I'm going to check if my sum is divisible uh, with n. So if this, then print my sum n, else print negative 1. Um, and I'm a little confused. Um, I think I need to rerun this part right here. And it does return. I want to make this an integer, though. And so the reason it's changing is my value p is now 13, um, when it, it should be 3 to start. So it returns the correct value. Um, I want to try this other example, which is um, 695 and 2. Should return 2. So let's try that. 695 and 2. Oh, I want 2, not 1. It returns 2. Um, 92 and 1 should return negative 1. And so I think I have it working. So um, I'm going to try using it in the function now. And instead of print statements, I want to return this. Oops. And run this. And it passes all of those test cases. Let's try and run it on everything, and it passed everything. So, um, yeah, this is my solution. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.